Hi, I'm Ken from Scotland. This is my week two assignment for the course Introduction to Sound Production from Coursera.org. And in this video lesson, I'm going to show you how in Logic Pro X you can use cycle mode to record multiple performances over the same section of a project, and then how using quick swipe comping you can compile the best bits of these performances into one master take. In this project, I've got a piano, drums and bass track, and I've created an audio track up here where I want to play a improvised fiddle solo to the background of these three tracks and I'm wanting these to play continuously to give me a chance to perfect my recording of the fiddle continuously from 13 to 21. So the playhead is going to move from 13 up to 21. When it reaches 21 it's going to jump back to 13 and continue on its way. And this creates an indefinite cycle through these three tracks. Then it's jumped back to 13, as you can see. So let's now see what happens when I record with the cycle mode still on. You can see that the three takes have appeared inside what's called a take folder on the audio track. It can be opened using this icon here. I'm going to colour them. Let's select take one and press option C. I'll choose red, green for take two, purple for take three. We can now click and drag various regions on these different takes and what appears on the top take is a composite of all of these selections and this top track is the main comp track that would be played when I press spacebar. It's gone from take one up to take two, down to take one again, now up to take three, to take two, down to take one, up to take three, down to take one and take two. Now that sounds terrible because they were, I just chose them at, at random. But these various takes can be altered in length. If we don't like what this bit sounds like, we can click here and replace it by each one of these selections in turn. So there's a, a huge range of uh, possibilities uh, for selections between these take trees and what appears on the, on the comp track. Now once you're happy with a, a comp track, you, you suppose you've, you've, you've decided on this track here, in the middle icon, if we press it, let's take the export active comp to a new track. A new track appears, the comp that you've created appears in this track with the cross fades in place and can then be compiled into a, a single audio file, if you wish, and moved around as a normal audio recording. So I hope you've appreciated from this video the power of the quick swipe comp mode in Logic X and you've enjoyed watching my video and have learnt something from it. I'm keen to hear your feedback from it. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.